Hello, everyone. It's John, your Indian Cinemaniac, with another Tennis Minute review. Uh, listen, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who commented on the uh, Secret Superstar show that we did. I say we because my wife uh, was a special guest star on it. And thank you for all the nice words you had to say about her. Hopefully, I can get her back on the show. I was shocked that she did it anyway. Um, but uh, hopefully, we'll get it back again. Also, someone asked me because I talked about my mother who've been watching a lot of Indian films. And I just want you guys to know her name is Auntie Pat. Patricia is her name. And she's become a huge fan of Indian films. She watches all films with subtitles now. So she doesn't even know if it's Indian or English or whatever. And she loves them. She just watched, um, I'm not sure the name, The Lift Boy. I think that's what it was called. Um, and she just loved it. So uh, thank you for that. And again, for those of you who asked uh, about her, that is her name, Patricia. Okay, so uh, this week, uh, oh, I, I almost forgot. Um, as always, please subscribe, hit the notification button, and I would really appreciate you smashing that like button. I get, I get about uh, 600 to 1,000 um, views on these shows, and I'm only getting about 60 likes. So either you don't like it or you're just not taking the time. I don't know. I mean, I would appreciate it. I hope I've earned it by now. I'm giving you content when I'm on vacation. Yes, I'm back at home base. Okay, so this week I am reviewing, based on the viewer poll, Golmal Fun Unlimited from 2006, a uh, slapstick comedy with uh, one of my favorite actors, RJ, RJ Devgun, who uh, I wanted to see in something less serious. It was directed by Rohit Shetty, who I know from Singham and Singham Returns, big action director. So I was interested to see what he was going to do. It also stars Arshard Was Warsi, Sharman Josie, who I saw in Three Idiots and Rang De Basante, and Tushar Kapoor, um, who, uh, and, and there was also um, the, the female lead in this. Oh, I should know her name. Um, was Sweetie in the Doom movies. So uh, it was good to see her. So I'm not quite sure how to talk about this movie. A lot of you recommended this because I wanted a comedy. And I read the uh, reviews for this, and they were just like praising this film about how funny it was. And I'm not sure if this is a cultural thing. And I know some of you said that the subtitles might not translate some of the humor. I got to be honest with you. I don't know if it would matter. I just did not find this movie funny. Um, in fact, I think I might have laughed twice in the entire movie. It just, it just seemed uh, not just silly, but kind of stupid. Now, I know that a lot of these Indian movies are made for families. And that's why they have the musical numbers. That's why there's a lot of bright colors. That's why they do the, the slapstick sound effects. So I kind of get that. So if I was a young lad, maybe I'd like this. But as an adult, I just, I don't know. It just didn't work for me. I was... Um, I even said to my wife about an hour and a half into the movie, I go, Rose, I haven't really laughed at anything in this movie. I just didn't find it funny. So uh, maybe it's a cultural thing and because I know it was a big hit. but And I know they made a bunch of these movies. I, it just didn't work. So so anyway, it opens up and with every Ajay Devgun movie he does, it opens up with a slow motion of him strolling towards the camera. And by the way, he also always wears very cool sunglasses. I mean, that's a thing in Indian movies I've noticed is the sunglasses that they wear. And they're very distinct styles, too. It's not like everyone's wearing the same brand. Now, I don't know if that means the actors have some kind of brand deal with the brands of uh, sunglasses, but it, it, it's something that really stands out. So let me go over what I liked about it. And it's going to be a short list. Uh the motorcycle for four, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, uh, I've never seen anything like that. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Did they make it just for this? Do those really exist? Like, can you buy them in India? I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the line he said, they asked him, are you Samir, the grandson? And he says, 
No, I'm AJ Devgun, being sarcastic. I thought that was funny. Um, I thought the black and white flashback, which looked to me, not knowing this for a fact, but it looked like it was in the style of the old Indian movies, the old Bollywood movies. And it looked like they were kind of paying tribute to that, switching from the black and white to the color. I actually found that kind of interesting. I really, I did like all the musical numbers. Um, so the, 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 that was positive. Um, I thought the twist of, uh, and this is a spoiler, but it's 2006. So if you haven't seen it, don't listen to this. I'll give you a second. Okay, so he's pretending to be Samir, the grandson, and the the blind couple is playing along. Well, then it's it's revealed that Samir has ac- actually died, and the mother didn't know it, but the father did. That was a twist that came out of left field that I was not expecting that, and that I like because a lot of times in these twists, in fact, I'm I'm uh, going to review War uh, next one, and the twist in that I just didn't buy. Uh, this one caught me by surprise and i liked it um i like the behind the scenes stuff at the end during the credits and i i already said this but the dance numbers i really like um very colorful location i'm not even sure where the location was but uh it was it was very interesting and very colorful and it looked like everyone's having a good time it's not like they were you know they weren't overly impressive dance moves i'm not gonna lie about that okay i've seen um much more intricate dance steps but I did like it. Uh, uh, and I was looking forward to the musical numbers because the, the comedy just didn't work for me. Um, now, what I didn't like about it. OK, here's a couple of things. Um, the the bad guy. I didn't understand why he was the bad guy. They owed him money. I didn't understand why. But he looked like Sanjay Dutt. And they kept saying that. And apparently they, uh, you, you know, when he was showing him how to walk like them, I guess that that's how that guy actually walked. So I didn't get that. There wasn't a lot of context around that. Now, the other complaint I have is, so they go to this house where they're kind of breaking in and pretending to be the grandson. One's going to be the voice. One's going to be the body. So they, they kind of take over this house, the four of them, and all they have are backpacks. That's all they walk in with are backpacks. But through the course of the movie, there must be 100 wardrobe changes. In fact, during some of the scenes themselves, there were wardrobe changes. Okay. I just want to know is this a Mary Poppins um, backpack that you can just continue to pull stuff out of the pack? Okay. Uh, that logic didn't make any sense to me. And it was silly. Um, the background music uh, was from the movie Black. When they pretend to be uh, when they pretend to be blind couple with the landlord. So when the landlord shows up, they're playing uh, the background music was from a film black. Uh, so so they reuse that. Uh, the slapping, as always, is prevalent throughout this movie um, with a goofy sound effect. Um, Aj gets stabbed in the butt and ends up in the hospital. Ha 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 ha. Uh, the girl uh, gets to pick from all four and she picks Lucky. The uh, kind of mute guy, which I thought was kind of cute, um, but I, I guess I just didn't get this movie. It didn't. It had a thread of a plot, which is fine if it's funny. And I want to I want to just give you a little background like Deli Belly. I laughed throughout that entire movie. And maybe that's because it was a little more contemporary where this was of its time, I guess. But to me, this was like a full length Four Stooges movie. That's what it reminded me of. Um, which is fine, right? But it just, I just didn't find it funny. Now, maybe I missed something. Maybe there are references in there that um, I'm not getting being from the West. Maybe, but to me, funny is universal. And I just didn't find it funny. I mean, like the one assassin that kept getting uh, mangled, I, I thought that was kind of funny. Um. But the story, I, I don't know. Like, you know, they go to a car race and then they it's Valentine's Day. And my other complaint is the woman who played the blind wife, she she did this thing because the other guy, the husband wore glasses, so you couldn't see him. But she kept looking up, right, to show that she was blind, right? Is that something blind people do? They look up? Because I never thought that, you know, the, the performances, even the movie I saw, the Indian movie, where he pretended to be blind with uh, Taboo in it, I thought he did a better job. And if you look at uh, Scent of a Woman, Al Pacino always looked a little vacant, but never never did that. I found, actually found that a little distracting. 
Um, but yeah, some of you called this and said that I probably wouldn't like it because I'm not going to get a lot of the cultural humor. I have to say you were right on this one. I just, uh, this is not a movie I would recommend, um, uh, like to people that I know, uh, who I recommend a lot of Indian movies to, uh, like I did recommend Delhi belly cause I thought it was hilarious. And I thought, uh, you, you would get the humor in that this, I just didn't get, it seemed very childish and maybe it's supposed to be, like I said, you want the families experiencing this, but for me, it just didn't work. It was and, and to me, the crime of it was, it just wasn't funny. I, I I barely like that the dean or the landlord whoever he was he had the neck brace and every line reading he screamed it and that was supposed to be funny and it wasn't even the fight scenes were you know I mean I did laugh when they when they came out with all the guns and they didn't have any bullets okay I, I went ah, ha, ha. that's kind of funny um but overall yeah and I didn't do a recap of this one because uh my brother Ralph, who comments on this show that I do, said that I'm doing a recap and review, so I should announce that at the beginning since I'm basically giving the story. I'm not doing that in this one because I don't think there's any way I could recap this movie. Uh, but going forward, I'll make sure I let people know I'm recapping it and reviewing it. So listen, I know it's not much of a review, but what can I tell you? I I, I watched a comedy that I didn't find funny. I I you know I, it was fun seeing Aj Devgun smile a little bit, but I didn't even think he was very good in this. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Am I just missing the mark on this or is it strictly a cultural thing? Uh, and that's okay if it is. And and this is one of the few movies that I really haven't enjoyed. So, you know, you can't, you can't hit home runs every time. So that's my review. And that definitely was under 10 minutes. Cause I didn't want to talk more than 10 minutes in this one. Uh, okay. FYI, the next film I am going to uh, talk about is uh, 2000 and I'm not sure of the year. I think it's 2017. It's War, uh, starring uh, Rithak Roshan, uh, part of the Yash spy uh, thing, which I've seen. I've seen a couple of those. So I'm looking forward to that. I really like that actor, too. So that's the next one I'm going to do. Uh, so look out for that one. And, I, you know, even though I didn't like the film, I hope you still uh, think it was worth subscribing, hitting the notification button and smashing that like button and who knows maybe i'll get rose on a future show for more than just a cameo would that be fun maybe we'll do our indian rom-com let me know what you think in the comment section uh also listen i'm looking for some because next week is the last uh next episode is the last one off the viewer poll so uh you guys have figured out my tastes based on this show and the big show so give me a recommendation of something you think i would really like um and you know i'll take that to heart and i'll watch it because uh I'm done with the list, so I'm looking for uh, other movies to watch. So leave it in the comment section. I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. And um, I'm going to watch a good comedy and laugh my ass off. All right, maybe I'll watch Deli Billy again because that was fun. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.